Now we will, I would like to recite a few ayat of the Holy Quran to prove my point. <coughs> Creation of perception faculty as stated in the Holy Quran. Afida is also another word for Qal. Thereafter, he molded him and breath into him of his spirit, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spirit, Ruh. And he made for you hearing and beholding, that is eyesight. Absar. Well, Afida is in the heart side, the Qal. That is your perception. Little do you thank him, right? He molded you in such a beautiful manner. It, he gave you all that you required to operate over here. And we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this. This is Surah Sajda. So we realize that there is, uh, you know, uh, we, we have been given heart which has perception and which can see. Right? Okay, we will go further ahead and that will clarify my stand further. <laughs> Development of perceptual filtration. Yeah, the word comes. Uh, comes. When our signs are rehearsed to him and he says tales of the ancient, by no means, but on their hearts is the stain of which they do. So what gets infected or affected or stained, that is the heart, right? So it is the heart which gets stained or which gets rusted or which gets tainted or which gets corrupted. Let's proceed far further. Result of wrongly developed perception filters. The parable of those who reject faith is if one were to shout like a goat herd, shouting to the goats, to things that listen to nothing but calls and cries, dumb, deaf, deaf, dumb and blind, they are void of wisdom. That is the effect of when we uh, stop hearing to what our Creator is telling us or what the nature is telling us or how the nature is speaking to us through uh, through the uh, uh, through the nature <clears throat> another ad which is very important kazalika yatba'u laha ala qalubu allazina la ya'lamun thus does Allah seal up the hearts of those who understand not right so what does Allah seal what the people who don't want to understand is their hearts. Waqalu qalubuna fin fi akinatin min ma tadhuna ilayhi wa fi azanin azanin waqra wa min bainana wa baina ka hijabun. Fa'mal inna na amilun. They say our hearts are under wheels. Our hearts are concealed from that to which you invite us towards, and in our ears is a deafness and between us there is a scream so do thou what thou will for us we shall do what we will very important so what is getting concealed they say our heart is closed now we don't want to receive any of your messages we will do what we want to do so then their 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 foresight or their Kulub are, you know, they are wheels, they become concealed and they do not understand further. So it is heart which was making them understand right or which is now 
inhibiting their understanding. <coughs> These are the ayahs um, from the Holy Quran. Another ayah that I would like to quote is, أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُ فِي الْعَرْضِ فَتَكُونَ لَهُمْ قُلُوبُ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا وَأَزَانُوا يَسْمَعُونَ بِهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبْسَارُ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّدُورِ do they not travel through the land so that their hearts may thus learn wisdom and their ears may thus learn to hear? Truly it is not their eyes that are blind, but their hearts which are in their breasts. I <laughs> can't make indication more clearer than that. The hearts which are in our breasts, they get blind. And when they get blind, our eyes, our ears, our all perceptual receptors you know, they process accordingly, they become blind as well. All the important thing is that it is not only Quran speaking of Al as the seat of perceptual framework. Nearly all the scriptures put heart as center of reflection uh, and a thinking organ. Even, I mean, in Quran we have this around 300 and more than, probably around 330 times Al is used uh, and uh, if we go to the Old and New Testament, the Alb is mentioned around uh, around 1,000 times. And if you read the Hindu scriptures even, you get the main organ of decision-making as heart. So it's very important for us to realize because uh, because of the present prevailing theories developed by the West, which have no concept of heart or breast, we have forgotten heart nearly totally. Very important for you all to reflect upon. <coughs> we have the Hadith of the Holy Prophet also. Indeed, there is a piece of flesh and human body. If it stays all right, the whole body stays all right. If it goes astray, the whole body goes astray. Listen with open ears. That is alp. Right? Very, very uh, important for us to realize that it is basically kalp which either makes a man go to the right way with noor or with vision and it is the kalp who makes him lose his way and go astray, right? And in another, in another hadith, it is mentioned that this kalb is in the chest, a human chest, right? So kalb is basically the reflector and decision maker. That is what I conclude uh, from my research.